for this problem, what I want to do is uh, say, tell me to find the solutions of the graph. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to find which values um, of x are going to make this equal to 0. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to isolate this variable. Now, I have a problem here because I have a quadratic. And I have an x squared and I have an x. So I can't, it's not like a regular linear equation where you can just get the x all by itself and solve. I'm going to have to do a different method. And we're going to have to use some kind of factoring. So here, if you guys remember, when you're doing factoring, you have ax squared plus bx plus c. That's a quadratic um, form. Well, when you're doing it, when you have a is greater than, uh, usually what we do is we'd say, what two numbers multiply? I'm going to sneeze, hold on. Oh, went away. Awesome. I'm going to multiply you. Usually, when you did have a, a number in front of A, you said what two numbers multiply to give you C, but add give you B, right? Um, well, when you have an A, which is a value greater than 1, you actually are going to multiply your A times your C and then your B. So A times C would be an A of 3, and my B is a negative 2. So what two numbers multiply to give me negative 3, but add to give me negative 2? Well, that's going to be a negative 3 and a positive 1. So then what I can do is I can rewrite this as 3 at, oops, negative 3x I like having one of those you know have you ever had those times where you're doing a problem and you just totally they like black out and you don't even know exactly what you want you're doing anymore um, I'm having one of those moments I really have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now and this is kind of weird so let's go back and see. Um, so I'm going to have negative 3x and 1 are going to be my two factors. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. I really just totally blank it out. OK, um, let's see here. You're going to multiply. Uh, oh, now I remember. OK. Whew. So I have a 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals zero. What I'm going to do, sorry about that, that was really kind of crazy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this equation now, but with these two terms. So I'm going to write 3x squared minus 3x plus x minus 1. Notice how these two terms, which are my two factors here, you see the coefficients negative 3 and 1, is the exact same thing as my original problem, but I just rewrote it spread out. And the reason why it's important is because now I can group these two. All right, I can group them. I can put parentheses around the first two terms and the last two terms. This will become helpful because now I can factor out a 3x. That will give me x uh, minus 1 and plus x minus 1. Then I notice that these two terms are exactly the same. I can now factor these out. So I'm left with x minus 1 times 3x plus 1. So when I said to find the solutions, those are the two factors. So now, I got lazy, but I have each of these is still equals zero. So if a number times a number equals zero, a binomial times a binomial has to equal zero as well. So now I can write x minus one equals zero and three x plus one equals zero. So solving for x, I get my two values are x equals 1 and x equals a negative 1 third.